Hello, I am Suzette, Dream Team member here at Art Anthology. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful canvas using Art Anthology products. Gather your supplies and let's get started. We're going to begin by using our tape and just cutting it into smaller pieces. Now stick it on the canvas wherever you like. It's a very intuitive process. There's really no reason why you put it there other than you think that it should go there. Uh, don't forget the sides. Um, we're trying to keep everything uniform throughout. When you finish that, just go over the canvas with some gel medium and begin to stick down your gauze. My canvas uh, has texture on it already because it's an old canvas that I'm reusing because I didn't like where that design was going. So I just put a coat of gesso on it and decided to use it for this project. That's a great way of upcycling um, canvases, just you know, so you don't waste anything. Um, if you don't have gauze, you can also use a cheesecloth, that's a great alternative. Or those little mesh bags that vegetables come in, like a bag of onions, and you get that nice mesh bag. Those things are great to keep for texture. Once you have uh, finished sticking down, just go over with more gel medium to make sure everything is saturated before moving on. Now I'm going to add my turtle. I'm using some gel medium to stick that down also and I'm going to put some gauze over the turtle also. I made my turtle with a silicone mold and some soap clay that I was experimenting with, a recipe I got off of YouTube. There also are other recipes such as cold porcelain clay which is another great one. That one sets rock hard and makes great embellishments. If you prefer store-bought clays, I can highly recommend um, Delight Clay, which is an air-dry clay. It dries nice and flexible and it's also very light, so it's great to use as embellishments. Once you have enough of the gauze on your canvas and you have fully saturated it with gel medium, you're going to set it aside to dry. When it's dry thoroughly, you're going to add a coat of gesso and then we will begin to add color to our canvas. Okay, now our canvases are dry, it's time to add some color. I am beginning with the mermaid sorbet paint. I'm adding a thin layer and I'm making sure it gets down in all those little cracks and crevices. I'm going to continue painting until the entire canvas is covered. As usual, do not forget the sides of the canvas. It's very important that we keep everything uniform at this stage. Now it's time to highlight the canvas. We are going to use the Fiji Velvet Dimensional Paint. And we're just going to add it in areas. We're not completely covering the canvas, just highlighting certain areas with this lovely dimensional paint. Now we're going to use the Kelly Green from the Shine Dimensional Paints and we are going to color in the turtle. You're going to use a fine brush for this because you don't want it to, you know, smudge around the edges. And once you're finished coloring that turtle, just add a few highlights here and there to the canvas. Not too much, we just want to keep everything uniform. And then we're going to set that aside to dry.
This is now dry and it's looking so good. But I just want to add just a little bit of highlights, maybe just around this area here. I'm using the Art Anthology Antique Gold. It's one of their latest products and it's a Gilda's paste. So um, I wear my gloves because I don't quite know what's in it. So it's just a good idea to wear your gloves. I'm using this as a post, my finger as a post to a brush because I don't want to get it down in all the texture. I just want to have it like lightly on top of the nets just to give it some highlights. And I'm just lightly adding this. Don't forget the sides and the edges. Another good way of adding it would be like a makeup sponge because that wouldn't go down in the cracks. That would definitely just stay on the surface. Here we go. All right, it's time to add some finishing touches to this um, canvas. I need something else right here. So I decided I'm gonna add some glass beads and some of these little seed beads as well. Now glass beads I have, it's a texture effects gel from Liquitex. If you don't have it, that's fine. Just make some tiny seed beads. Just get the clear ones or the white ones and mix it with some modeling paste or gel medium and it should be okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to the area that I want the beads. Just pretty much all along here and up here also. I'll just go ahead and put some on the side as well just for uniformity. So the design continues throughout the whole canvas. a little bit more up here too. All right, I think that's good. This of course will dry clear, so don't worry about it being white right now. And I'm gonna go ahead, put that away, and then I have my seed beads here. And just go ahead and sprinkle some on there as well. I don't want too much in the higher areas. I want down here to be more dense as it's the bottom of the piece and I just want to give it more weight. So I'm just going to go ahead and push those in like that. And that should be good. And just add a few more to the side. Don't worry about the extra. They'll want it to dry. We'll just brush them off back into the container. We don't want to do that now because we don't want any of the other ones falling off. 
So I'm just going to use my palette knife and just gently push them down into the texture gel so that they'll glue in place also. So one or two here, let's just pick those up and get them on there. Alright, so now we're going to put this aside to dry and your piece is finished. <laughs>